Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fox County Public Schools with another video update. I have two main uh, issues to share with you today. Uh, one has to do with vaccinations. Um, we sent out a survey to staff about a week and a half ago uh, asking if, uh, if there was vaccines made available, if they were would receive vaccination. So that was sent out to 1,926 full-time employees or permanent employees of Fauquier County Public Schools. 1,904 indicated that they um, completed the survey. Of that 1,904, 1,515 indicated yes, that they would be receiving the vaccination. Um, the response to that survey was fantastic. Um, by the end of that week, we had filled up all of our slots. Uh, both at the Riva Center and the Germana Community College Center. Uh, we're continuing vaccinations uh, this week, and there's talk about um, uh, having a third center available for staff to receive the vaccination. So uh, very proud of our staff uh, for taking this so seriously, and um, hats off to the VDH officials, especially the local VDH officials, for what feels like putting Fock here at the top of the list. Um, and uh, being so responsive to us and getting folks in to be vaccinated. So very appreciative. And it feels, uh, on a personal note, uh, it, it just it feels like the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel got a little bit bigger uh, as a result of these vaccinations being made available. It's a very good feeling uh, as we move towards getting back to a, a normal school program. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you about is learning loss. So. Clearly, Fauquier County Schools, just like every other school division in the state or around the country, is dealing with this issue of learning loss. Uh, we know we're not Pollyanna here. We, we understand that um, uh, the, the hybrid model, the virtual model, uh, hasn't been successful for some of our students. So our charge is to identify who those students are and create opportunities for them so that they can make up um, for that loss of that learning loss. Fortunately, the next round of uh, CARES funding, which uh, is basically COVID relief funding, the next round of it is um, will be earmarked for to address learning loss within school divisions and um, to create programs to help students, uh, more learning opportunities for students. And uh, we are very excited about this and um, have uh, prior to even receiving this information about uh, the funding that is, will come along with it, we had already started planning for sort of a fifth semester approach to helping, helping students. Um, and, and most likely that fifth semester will be during the summer and then there'll be some other sort of uh, program for students in the fall because we, we don't want kids to get you know, there's a saying about uh, students, you know, if they, if they fall behind a year, it really takes them three years to catch up. And we, we want to avoid that by, by developing a very meaningful, proactive, um, efficacious program for students uh, to get them where they need to be. And so uh, we, we're definitely in the preliminary stages of planning for this opportunity, um, but rest assured that uh, we are taking it very, very seriously, and um, we are going to we are going to do everything we possibly can to help these students um, because we don't want students to be behind. And as I said, even with the fifth semester approach, even in the fall, if uh, we still are uh, assessing students and realizing and uh, uh, finding that they 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 are behind, we're going to do we're going to go to our our plan B. Uh, which we're in the midst of developing to figure out how we help those kids. And along with that, we've had a few meetings now regarding a virtual academy, uh, which would be initially geared towards um, high school students um, uh, to provide for credit uh, 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 credit recovery uh, for students. But we are hoping that we can ultimately expand the virtual academy to make it a, a very meaningful, engaging opportunity for kids throughout the school division. And, uh, and, and we're not talking about plopping kids down in front of a screen and, and um, 
and, and make them passive receptors of information, but making making these this virtual academy engaging for students and um, and and providing the resources within the program that are really going to help students. And we're committed to that also. So there's three big things going on. I said two at the beginning, but I wanted to mention the virtual academy. We, we just started talking about it. And, um, and again, it's exciting to have some federal funding that can help with it. That takes a huge load off. So um, we are on this. And this is going to be, uh, these are going to be good things for our kids and hopefully good things for families as well. So thank you for your time and please stay safe.